Hey guys, this is Jones here. Um, the following video that you're about to watch is kind of a smorgasbord of different things that I recorded for Beer with Buddies. What started off as a wheat beer episode eventually devolved into the usual... <laughs> how do I put this? Uh, tangled mess of shenanigans that I like to call a video. Uh, there was a plan. It didn't really work out. I kind of wanted to do something different, so I did. So we are presenting two wheat beers and two stouts. One from a Taco Mac a few weeks ago, one from me chilling in my room one night, and two which will be on this video as well that I'm about to record. So I will see you on a variety packed episode of Beer with Buddies. Hope you like what you see and uh, keep drinking. What's happening everybody? Jones here uh, welcoming you back to another exciting edition of Beer with Buddies. I'm out and about today, uh, get some dinner, so I figured I'd stop by my local Taco Mac in Moore, Georgia, and try out some things. A little bar hopping edition, so quickly before my food gets here, I'm drinking a beer from Belgium, which is a variation of Fat Tire called Fat Tire White. It's a white, unfiltered weed ale. It looks pretty cool, check it out. Ooh, fancy, right? It's like a glass of freaking orange juice. Based on the description I got here, we got uh, Indian coriander, which is basically cilantro and orange peel. And it's unfiltered, so that's why it's got the cloudy look. Let's take a sip and see how it tastes. Pretty chill, actually. Ooh, yep, I taste the orange. Definitely taste the orange right there. Yeah, I'm about to have some wings and uh, maybe another beer here. And I'll go pick up something on the way home and try that out. So we'll make it a triple threat today. Anyway, I will see you when I get to my next beer. Alright guys, so I'm looking at the final piece of the puzzle tonight. Uh, you know, I didn't do a favorite. We had a little fun with the uh, wheat beers this week. Um, trying out the White Zombie and the oh God, Fat Tire White Ale, I believe, was what we had. They were both pretty good. I'm not a big wheat beer fan, but you know, I can, I can handle it every once in a while. But we come to the last step of our journey tonight, which is one of my favorites, as I showed just a second ago. That would be Dragon's Milk. It's a bourbon barrel aged stout from New Holland Brewing. I put it in my Jekyll mustache glass because I must ask you a question. Yes, I know it's a bad pun. Whatever. I don't care. Bad puns are in the show. So, this beer, this beer right here is extremely potent. Um, it has 11%, it's 11% alcohol by volume. It's a pint. It's kind of got the, uh, it's got a little bit of that bourbon warmth. You, you taste it. They, apparently, they age in oak barrels. Um, if you're looking for food to pair with a bourbon barrel stout like this, it would apparently be red meat, smoked foods. I'm not sure what balsamic stuff with balsamic in it. <laughs> Rich cheese and dark chocolate. Ooh. So um, if you're eating a good old fashioned steak. Probably be a good idea to drink one of these with it. Now this one right here will knock you on your ass. I've learned this. I've learned this. <laughs> it is def like if I get one of these, chances are that's all I need for the evening. But I've uh, rested up in between rounds of drinking beer today. <laughs> so I uh, took a few hours in between my drinking earlier at Taco Mac. So we are going to go ahead and go ahead and take a sip. You know, even though I know what this is, I know what it tastes like, but. Oh my god, it's so good. It definitely got that vanilla taste, like they say in here. I can definitely I can definitely taste the vanilla and then I then you feel the bite of the bourbon. Uh, as far as scent goes, most of the time when I take a sip of it, I taste the bourbon I smell the bourbon primarily. You know, but when you when you drink it, you definitely get the vanilla, then the bourbon is kind of an aftertaste. It's a really good beer. I highly recommend it. Um 
I like bourbon barrel beers. They're pretty tasty. I've had one. I think I, I think I've had one that's in uh, Scotch barrels. They've been, you know, aged in Scotch barrels. Those are pretty fun. Um, they do they do have, have evidently have qualities of the Scotch or the bourbon or whatever. You get a little hint of that from those barrels, which is always kind of nice. Um, they're tasty. You get sometimes you get a little bit of the oak finish from the barrel, which is pretty cool. It gives it a pretty, I don't know, I don't know if robust is a good word to use for it, but you get a lot of different tastes from it. And they're awesome. And they're very strong because they've been soaked in alcohol. So there you go. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching uh, this Beer with Buddies episode of White Ale and some Favorites. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up calling it. I am your beer-drinking universal champion, Jones. I will see you next time. Be sure to uh, check out my profile on Untapped at KC Jones 681 to check out the different beers I've had and the ratings that I've given to them. I'm not a big rating on a scale kind of guy, but on that, I guess I kind of have to, you know, give it a number. So I'm going to go um, do what I do, which is I drink and I know things. I'll see you later next week with more shenanigans. Have a good night and drink on. All right, everybody, welcome back to the lab. We are in the uh, Joan Sienda, the Ha 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 Sienda, if you want to call it that. We've got some new selections on tap here that I've added to this video because I wanted more beers. And showing my usual flair for changing things up, that's what we're doing. So, today's beers selections are Full Sail Blood Orange Wheat Ale. This is a beer brewed out of Hood River, Oregon. Full Sail Brewing Company. 5.2 alcohol by volume. So it's kind of chill. It's uh, got a lot of blood orange from what I hear, so that's fantastic because I love me some blood orange. So we'll put it in the Tartastic glass because I don't want The other one's a little bit bigger than this one. So we're going to pour terribly because I'm doing it one handed. So whatever. I have a lot of head on this. There you go. There's the beer. Oh yeah. Let that chill for a second. Second beer we're doing tonight is in honor of my Irish heritage, of which there's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> I'm I'm like almost fifty percent like you know Celtic, Irish, I'm Scottish, I'm Welsh, so whatever. That's a cool discovery I found out doing an Ancestry.com DNA test. I'm pretty much an all-around white boy that can drink well. So today, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, or as I like to call it, Irish Appreciation Day, we have Nitro Irish Stout from Breckenridge Brewery in Colorado. Now this is a nitro beer. Which means it's going to be a little bit different than the standard beers, you know. It, it nitro beers have a lot of different flavor, different different variety. Like the head's different. A lot of it makes that sound that you just heard. It's letting off the nitro. So let's go ahead and pour this bad boy because you can actually pour nitro beer pretty well. I want you to look at the detail of how the beer goes, how the beer changes in the glass. That is very important. As I look away, watching people on Twitch. All right, there we go. So it kind of cascades a little bit. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it cascaded a little bit and has to settle. That's a trademark of nitro beers. Um, I like them a lot. My favorite nitro beer is Left Hand Nitro Milk Stout. Probably one of my all-time favorites. I drink that a lot, actually, and I'm surprised I haven't put it on an episode. If I have and I've forgotten about it, oh well. So that's fine. So first off, we're going to try the uh, Blood Orange Wheat Ale to go with our... What do we have? Fat Tire Wheat Ale, I believe we had the other day. So, there we go. It's very light colored, as is, you know, usual for wheat beers. So, there you go. Good taste. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I've had beers with Blood Orange in them before. Most notably, Monday night's um, Blood Orange Blind Pirate, which is a fantastic beer. But I, I taste the blood, the orange a lot more in that beer than I do the, the IPA. So that's very flavorful. Very tasty, actually. I'm going to enjoy that one. Like I said, both these beers are low volume in terms of alcohol content. As a matter of fact, the stout is, what was it, 4.8, I think? So, yeah, these are uh, these are below the patented Jones level of, you know, 6.87, where, you know, my, my happy line is, because I like to, you know, feel it. I'm finished. We also have the. Here we go. Here's the. So now that it's settled, it looks like a pretty normal stout. Like I said, the head's a little different than most beers. A little. Uh, I don't know. It's like a little warmer. It's a little weird. It's a little different. 
I'm not sure how to describe it because I'm not an expert, but wow, that is a very smooth stout. Um, now, granted, I don't normally drink a lot of wheat ales. Uh, very few stouts here and there, but that's okay. I mean, this is actually pretty decent for wheat. I mean, it's not my my favorite type of beer. As I'm looking down every time. Sorry, it's not my favorite type of beer, but it's something that I can get down on occasionally. So that's pretty good. And the nitro Irish stout. I mean, it's alright. It's kind of Guinnessy. A little less uh, bitter, I guess, than Guinnessy or Guinnessy than Guinness is. <laughs> One take Jones, everybody. Um, so it's kind of chill. I'm pouring a little bit more in the glass. It's kind of chill. Um, doesn't feel as harsh as a lot of Guinness. Not Guinnessy. I don't know what that is. That sounds like a bad combination of beverages. But thanks for watching this little segment. Um, we're going to have some more coming up, I believe. Because I've recorded a bunch of stuff from the day before. So uh, thanks for watching Beer with Buddies. I've been Jones. Be sure to check out my profile on Untapped at Casey Jones 681 to see a lot of the beers I've rated and what did you think and you know give me a toast if you feel like it so that's it for me I will see you guys next time keep drinking